Our home. Hello everyone, gone. my name is Big Man, and welcome back to the Destiny 2 Beta. Today we're going to be talking about the Arc Strider subclass, as well as uh, whatever out of any other stuff that comes to my mind. Like, for example, uh, oh crap, something just fell on the fl I'll, I'll get it later. But anyway, first of all, like, like as you can see here, I'm just looking at the uh, snipe, different sni this different um, options for customizing the sniper rifle. And if you look at the bottom, like the the uh, the weapon mods, the weapon mods. Yeah, sorry. I was like, as I'm recording this voiceover, I'm watching the video in a very small window, so I, so it's a little bit difficult to make out words, especially small words. So it definitely seems like you're able to like put different like skin like uh, shaders and stuff. And of course, the neighbor had to start mowing their lawn right now. Thanks, neighbor. So anyway, yeah. Okay, so here I'm just, you know, looking at the different, um, different stuff for the, different, the available upgrades, the available perks and stuff for the, uh, Arch Strider subclass. And I, and I kind of found out, like, there's a bunch of different combinations you can do with the different abilities. One of which I've kind of learned to abuse a little bit, which I will show you at some point in the available strike. Which I'll be making a video on later today, I think. So, so yeah, but it does involve the melee and the gambler's dodge. So yeah. But anyway, I'm just, the, the grenades are pretty much just the same as the blade dancer. The jump is the same as the blade dancer, except it doesn't have blink. And yeah, Big also try out the sidearm here for a little bit. Like it's space got rifles. a little bit of recoil. I, I think. Never. Also, the grenades do not seem nearly as powerful as they were missing. But I guess that's fine. This is Commander Zavala. Civilians, report to evac points. Guardians, rendezvous in the plaza. Our city will not fall. Yeah, also I noticed that apparently, for whatever reason, the Arc Strider Hunter does not have a knife. You don't melee with a knife. You just melee with your fist, like a Zavala's titan. doing the hero thing in the plaza. Me? Also, your, also, you, also your hands kind of get covered in lightning, which is really neat. I really like that effect. I think that's really cool. Over here, Hunter. My armory is open to you. Follow the path from there. It will lead you through the hangar to the plaza. I'll take care of these people. If the Cabal want war, give them war. And so now we are moving on here to the Hunter exotic weapon for the beta, the Sunshot. Which I think is really, really, I think it's it's probably the best of the, my favorite of the exotics so far that I've got to play with. Cause it functions similarly actually to um, to um, Fatebringer in Destiny 1, except this is an exotic and it does solar damage instead of arc. Also you don't need to get a headshot to make your enemy explode. Which is nice. And so apparently, like, this weapon, it, it literally just fires pieces of the sun. Not entirely sure how that works, but whatever. It's cool anyway. I like it. It's neat. Yep. Also, I like how, like, the, like, an intrinsic part, intrinsic part, like, the, uh, the class ability is basically shade step. I think that's really, I think that's really neat. That you basically always have shade step as a hunter. I feel like I'm, I'm definitely going. To, I, it's, it's definitely very useful, in my opinion. I also like the perks. It's like there's two different perks that you can give to your dodge. It's not just shade step, it's called a dodge. Shade step. Anyway, the, the, the two options are, like, option one, when you dodge, you re it instantly reloads whatever weapon you're holding in your hand. And option two is it instantly recharges your melee ability uh, when, when you dodge, you're in, like, right there. Like, right there. And also, um, apparently, the way that the other is set up for the beta, apparently, if you get a melee kill, that instantly recharges your dodge. And, when, and I, uh, whenever I dodge near enemy, it instantly recharges my melee. And 
also apparently melee, when you get a melee kill with the melee ability. Uh, it, it gives you a damage buff for the melee, for, for your melee. So yeah, like on lower tier and like lower health, like enemies with low, l less amount of health than others, you can definitely abuse the crap out of that. Also it gives you a nice little lunge. I think, I think it definitely helps. Yeah, the snipe rifle though. I don't know if it's just this snipe rifle, but like, it's definitely very accurate. It, I definitely feel like that 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 snipe rifle definitely I, I I hit more bullets with that than with any other snipe rifle I've used in, in a Destiny game before, which is nice. But I feel like for a power weapon, it's not exactly very powerful. I, I, I the snipe rifle just feels it's a, you know. Yeah, because it's power weapons, it's supposed to be like, so like the replacement for pepper. It, it's supposed to like, feel powerful when you use it. That's why it's so powerful, but... It, it doesn't really... It, I feel like the Look melee the packs more of a punch than, than literal sniper bullets. Which is... Probably not a good thing. I would think. Okay. My ghost keeps tagging these cabal as red That's another thing on Gora, what power weapons. I noticed that like Rumors power ammo that. does not An drop all that much, but Bungie has said that the beta that, that we have relevant. available to us is we an older version of the game. It's like a month, month or months Crab old version of, of the game. We will protect our people at any cost. And it has been Traveler. changed that since. That so when the game does come out. We can definitely expect more power, which I guess would probably be why the sniper rifle isn't as powerful as we would expect it to be. If there's like an, a fair abundance of power ammo. I'm not saying there's going to be a fair abundance, I'm just going to say. And a inflated purple ball. I like that purple ball. They will pay for the Also, another thing with the melee, apparently when you get a, me a kill with your melee ability, it, it, it regenerates some of your health. Don't let the past forget really you. The evac shuttles are back there. So you can basically just like, so you really can just abuse the crap out of that, you know? You really can't just abuse the crap out of, out of, out of the whole like, dodge melee combination. And I feel like that's something really special about the Arch Fighters. Like, like, you're, you're, like, you want to use different combinations of your abilities. Of your abilities. You never want to use just one ability. Especially when you're using your super, which is the Arch Staff. The Arch Staff, I think you might see it at some point. You're probably going to see it at some point. This Red Legion are well trained, in this game, but we are better. We yes. will hold this line until the last civilian is safely away. I think right, yep. Okay, so right now I'm just mashing buttons and trying to figure out which button does shield. what. Also, I notice how, like, how, like, you use the footprint button when you have your super ass. Show them what guardians also, like, are made of! The uh, right bumper, the basic, like, melee button, it, it basically does, like, a, like, a basic kind of, I guess, melee attack. Kind of, like, whack, whack a dude with your um with 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 the arc staff and yeah you lack a dude the sangrated by lightning and then there's and then and then there's your right trigger ability which actually is actually, is actually a bit of a ranged attack which I actually made it to kill the strike boss with which which I was we which I was pretty impressed with myself when that happened next on my list. And that was pretty cool. Also, like like a bunch of different common button combinations you can use while you are using the arc staff, which will actually help help, which will actually like do different things. So like I know it's like right bumper, right bumper, right trigger. But you know, navigating over here to work. I think like I think like a thing you play with the match, like the right bumper, right bumper in midair. Like you do like a kind of like swirly thing upward, which is very neat. Um, 
there's also like a, also apparently you get an infinite, you get an infinite amount of dodge when, when you use the, uh, the arc style, which is definitely helpful, because I feel like part of, you know, like part of the art, the whole thing with the arc staff is basically just being an unrelenting Savala. tornado The last of, of the shuttles is away, but the speaker... For your enemies. He never made it. And I, I feel I'm like that is just really, really cool. I definitely really Go like the, the, I feel like the arc staff is definitely We're on it, Commander. my favorite so far of the new... I feel like arc Strider is definitely so far my favorite of the new subclass. Because Dawnblade, Dawnblade Super does not last long enough, I feel like. It, it just... It has a very short duration. It's there and it's gone, and that's not. It's it, and it, I I really hope that they that Bungie will change that or they have already changed that because from the beta that we are that we have access to that blah, 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 blah. words. The beta we have available to us is an old beta. It's it's an older version of the game. It's not the current version of the game that Bungie is working. on. It, it's an old version of the game where the, 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 the supercharge is slower and, and power ammo drops less often than it is. Yeah. Yeah, also the central subclass, I feel like that one also is just a little underwhelming. Uh, after having some time play to play around with it, I feel like the central subclass is a little bit underwhelming. Also like apparently you only get like one shield throw. If you only throw your shield once once with the build we have of the um, central build we have available. You only you're only able to throw your shield once at the beginning and once at the end. Like if you if like the first thing you do after after summoning your shield is is, 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 is to throw it, then you can get like a second shield right at the very end of the super. But I know like in the other like tree or like, skill tree or whatever for, for the central subclass, you can get a second um, shield to throw, a second shield to throw dark. I should probably not record these types of things immediately after I wake up in the morning. Eh, well, whatever. Yeah, that's for the... Someone like told me you need a ride. I feel like the Arc is pretty good right now. It's just... I don't know. I feel like... I feel like... I feel like I, I, was, I was doing a... I was doing the strike for a little bit yesterday. I was doing the strike yesterday, and I activated... I activated the... Um, Picked up that guy and he never the, showed up about? Arc staff. And, you know, I started... You know, I was, like, killing enemies with it and stuff. Hold but then I, for them, for whatever reason... Like out of my control, like just my my guy started my my my, my guardian just started to not like magnetize the super charge and start to magnetize towards the boss, which I did not want to happen. Come on, I, I was guy. like, no, don't go for the boss, don't do, don't whack at his legs. Do something. No, go for go for the go for the ads. And go for the ads. I ended up getting knocked off of the ledge because that kind of sucked. <laughs> So yeah, and I feel like I feel All like, right, like, Guardian. Cause, like time to kick him where the arc staff is not the arc blade in Destiny One. Like the arc blade, that that definitely magnetizes itself towards enemies. But I feel like the arc staff, what it should be doing is like rather than magnetize, it does not magnetize a lot. It definitely does not magnetize a lot. You do have much more control over where you go. I feel like then you did with the arc. Let us know blade. when the shields are down and we'll hit that like, ship with you, you everything to, we you got. Definitely have, it's definitely one, it's definitely a super that requires a little bit of skill, I feel like, which is a good thing. Because you definitely want to have. Yeah, because you did, you, cause I, I, feel like, I feel like that is definitely a good thing to, to need to be skillful with something in order to make it work. Because, I mean, you, you don't really want to be like. It, it should. Like, supers should be super. I feel like they're called supers. I, I feel like like supers should always definitely be 
super. Could help. But they the shouldn't lock. also at the same time be super like overpowered, I guess. And so yeah, like like the shield should be at the bottom I guess the it would make sense for like some supers to be a little more hard to control than others, and for some of them to be a little more simpler than others. Like the Nova Bomb, for example. That one, like for the world, that one is just like yeah, yeah, yeah. Throw it at you, it's up in the Nova Bomb, and it goes at you, see you start to explode. Just like that. That's a simple super. That's sim it's simple and effective. But like I feel like 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 something like the, like the arc the, like the arc 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 staff. I feel like that's definitely more complex. So there's something that I'm definitely gonna have to get used to. That anybody who plays with the arc staff is definitely going to have to get used to and learn to control. So there's definitely a lot of button combinations with the arc staff that seem to be very important in order to be most of the time, to be like as effective as possible. So, uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much all I have to say for this. I think. Not as much as the last two videos, but not as much as I have to say for, for the, um, uh, third Sentinel and Dawnblade, but I guess I was also talking about the Homecoming Spoiler Mission, which you are seeing right now. But, uh, yeah. I guess this is, I guess I'm done with it. So, yeah. So yeah, I'm just gonna let the rest of the video play out, and thank you for watching, like and subscribe if you like this, and yeah, okay then, bye. generator should be straight ahead.
Destroy the turbines. The shield should fizzle. Yes, just like that. Amanda! Anyone? 